LA flips number five. Illa, Illa, M fizzle on the track. Levels of Avicii, cause Flo Rida didn't do Hey guys, Sick Asbin here today, bringing you guys another video. Just wanted to, whoop, really click that. Just wanted to show you guys a quick thing here how to use a, an Xbox One controller with your PC for gaming. Uh, I know some people have been asking me a couple questions on that, and I wanted to show you guys just in case no other videos are getting it for you. So, in my case, it's an Xbox One controller. I'm going to be using it for Call of Duty, specifically World at War here. Uh, I've gone through this a couple times, and I just want to show you guys. So, first of all, you're going to need the plug and play charge kit or at least a micro USB cable and your Xbox One controller. You don't have to go out and buy a special Xbox One controller, the one that comes with your console will work. So, first of all, you're going to want to plug it in via USB to one of your computer's USB ports. It's going to probably come up and say that it's installing the drivers for the controller, however, it usually doesn't. It didn't in my case, I had to look it up. So, on Xbox's website, Underneath their support section, you can search for Xbox One controller PC. It'll come up with this link right here. The top one says PC drivers for Xbox One controller, x86, that is if your computer is 32-bit. Bottom one is if your computer is 64-bit. If you don't know which is which, uh, you can look it up or you can just go ahead and go with 86. It'll work just fine. 32-bit uh, stuff works fine on 64-bit. So you're going to click on either link. You're going to let it download the drivers. It's going to go through and install them. You don't have to do anything else as far as that. You will have to go over to your game. In my case, like I said, it's World of War, so we're going to jump over. Here's my game. First of all, you're going to go into the Options and Control section. You're going to go into Game Options. It's going to have this little part here that says Enable Console. You're going to want to make sure that says Yes. That's going to allow you to set up the controller. Once you go back, I'm going to actually switch this to a different view right there so you can see the top. I'm going to load up the game here that way you guys can see when it actually starts working because uh, there's just going to be a little command that we have to type in. It's very easy, something anybody can do and it will instantly get everything working how you want it to. So we're just going to get the game loaded up. This makes it a lot easier for playing zombies for me since I am a console gamer. I've been playing console game Call of Duty forever now. Well, you know, for the past, like, five years, probably. Uh, I started out with the original Call of Duty on PC and United Offensive, so I was used to that, but now that I've gone to console gaming, uh, it's all this now. So, first of all, I'm going to press Escape so that I can pause it. Next, right below your Escape key on the top left corner, left of the 1 and above the Tab key, there's that little squiggly line. You're going to press that. On the top of the screen there, you'll see it comes up with the console. Once the console is up, you're going to type EXEC for execute space default underscore controller dot CFG. That stands for configuration file. It's going to load up the one for controller or for the controllers. You're going to press enter. Once you've pressed enter, you can press that squiggly line once again. I'm going to jump back right there. You're going to resume the carnage, and my controller works just fine. Beforehand, it would not have because I had not loaded up the configuration. Pressing the left bumper, right bumper, you get full range of motion without having to go through your keyboard. That's me jumping and pressing B to go down, uh, X to reload. It all works great. It makes it much easier, at least for me, to be able to use a controller. So. That's pretty much it, guys. That's how you load up and uh, use a controller from your Xbox One console to play PC games, uh, at least for World at War. The other Call of Duties are pretty much the same. If you guys have any other games that you'd like me to check out for you, just let me know, and I'll be happy to do so. Otherwise, guys, this has been Sick Aspen, and we will see you later.